Pilots often end up flying into IMC for one very important reason. They didn't have a strategy for resisting temptation. The temptation to pr uh, press on in bad weather when they knew intellectually they were doing the wrong thing. Pilots are likely to press on in poor weather for one of two reasons. Either they're attempting to reach the destination airport because of some personal need or because they don't want to disappoint others, such as the people waiting for them at their destination or, for that matter, the passengers on board the airplane. In order to avoid the temptation to reach a destination airport when the weather is poor, you have to desire something more than the goal you're trying to accomplish. And equally important, you have to keep that idea in the forefront of your mind during flight. For instance, when I'm on a cross-country flight, I ask myself what I want more than to reach the destination airport. And the answer is, I want my wife to continue to have a husband. Asking this question helps you compare what you have to gain with what you are willing to risk to obtain it. And in the same way we prime an engine to help start it, we also need to prime the mind to help us understand what we value more than arriving at the airport under inclement weather conditions, if we arrive at all. Second, when I have passengers with me, I realize that I am much more vulnerable in terms of temptation. And we all like to please others, so it's easy for us to ignore our good instincts so as to prevent being outcasts from our group, and nobody wants that. So how do we deal with this? Well, the answer might surprise you. We get our passengers to share in the responsibility for the safety of the flight. So start by asking your passengers before the flight if there's any reason that any one of them would not be willing to turn back to the departure airport, land at an alternate airport, or delay the flight home if the weather became a problem. They'll most likely all say that this wouldn't be a problem at all. And the moment you do that, you've made them participants in the decision. Yes, if you had to detour, delay, or cancel the flight because the weather is uh, poor, your passengers will probably be disappointed. Nevertheless, you are more likely to resist the temptation to fly into poor weather because your passengers have agreed to support your decision to act wisely beforehand. Let me give you one word of caution about a real serious weather-related trap when flying cross-country. Once you begin something, it's far more difficult to stop that action than you might think. And this is known by salesmen as getting your foot in the door. You see, there's absolutely nothing wrong with going out to take a look at the weather when the weather reports are either suspect or inconclusive, as long as you have the skills to do so. But you should never ever do so unless you have a way out of inclement weather conditions, never. If you have a way to either return to the departure airport if the weather is not conducive to safe flying, or if you can land at another airport, then fine. You've provided yourself with a good escape route in case the weather is beyond your personal minimums. And this is precisely what wise pilots do. And what makes them wise is that they realize that starting a flight, in other words, having that foot in the door, or better yet, having that foot in the mind, so to speak, makes them a bit more vulnerable to the temptation to press on if the weather is poor. By strategizing beforehand to leave themselves with a good escape route, they minimize the temptation to press on in inclement weather.